Yes, welcome back to page five, advanced page builder testimonial course. Um, today we're gonna to be working on replicating another page. This one's actually a testimonial page, but has um, a lot of aspects of some other pages as well. So there's a lot of CTA, there's featured products and things like that. And they kind of mingle in with the real testimonials. So here's living proof, real results. Here are fan made videos. Uh, here's more Instagram reviews and then the full button that leads to the full review page at the bottom. So it's a really creative way of making um, a testimonial page that doesn't just have what customers say. It actually has some conversion potential as well. So let's start building with um, <clears throat> just the basic layout elements first. So as always, we're going to start with our full section. This is super simple. We just have a background image and a heading. Okay, heading in there. That's literally all we need for that section. Um, for this, I can't remember exactly the, the name of the font, but uh, in page five, we're, we're going to be using something called Courgette, Courgette and Montserrat as well. Okay, so let's center that. There we go. Let's move on to the next one. So this probably looks quite familiar. Uh, we can actually just use a paragraph up here do this as one section. I'd probably prefer to just use this as, as a small section itself though. So here, put in another section and put in our paragraph. That's that. And then the third section probably looks very familiar at this point, to be honest. We are going to use the, the half half split. Okay, I've just saved this as an image. So we're going to need on the right a header, small paragraph. We're going to need a paragraph, a list, and then a button on the left. Okay. So let's go ahead, put in our half half. In the right column, we need a heading, a paragraph, and an image. So you should be getting somewhat familiar with uh, how we, whoops, I didn't do that right into the column. Just make sure it drops in the column or else it'll get a little bit wonky sometimes. I want this right in the column. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Let's see, all right. I won't be able to align that centered. So what I'm gonna do is our old trick of putting in a block first into there and then putting the image in there. Here we go. Now, as I said, so just a paragraph, a list and a button on the left hand side. Okay. Paragraph list. So they've used icons instead of just the bulleted list so that we actually can do that quite easily by formatting the list and then finally a button. So as usual, let's put it a block and then put the button element in the block. Okay, on to the next section. So here, unfortunately, we without actually customizing the code, we won't be able to get this, this overlap here, uh, but we'll be able to get this super close. We'll just play with the margins on the left of the, of the column and then we'll have this image on the right, okay? So once again, we're just using the 50-50. Uh, this is just gonna be an image, possibly a paragraph underneath for the text. Uh, let me have a look here. You know what we can do? We can use two thirds and a third section for this, and I think that'll work out well. So in our layout section, let's put a section in. Let's find the two thirds and a third, okay? Toss that in there. And I'm, I think we'll just be able to, uh, hopefully we can put the text underneath quite easily. We'll see when we start building the page exactly what the best solution is, but it should be okay. Okay, and we have, what do you know, another, yet another 50-50. So just an image here, paragraph, paragraph, button. So 
So our half and half, just an image on the left. Paragraph, we can just use one paragraph here. It's actually a line to the right and a button. Block, button, done. And we can align that uh, button in the block later. Okay, moving on. So this part is a little bit tricky and we're gonna spend a, a little bit extra time on this one. I'll save that for a separate video. We're actually going to embed the YouTube video um, underneath the image. So when they click, there yeah, you can see the video opens up from within. Right now it's not loading because I'm using the screen recorder. That's okay, we'll spend some time with that uh, in the next video. So what I'm basically what I'm going to do is, as you can see, this is literally just three images. This isn't actually text underneath. Uh, it's just three images with a heading. And then when you click on each image, the YouTube video comes up. Okay, here we got, I guess we can put that in just for, just to make it easier on ourselves. Okay. So we're going to use a triple. We're going to use a heading and a triple. Heading. Triple done. Okay, next we got a big, long, tall section, two images, two buttons. So you could probably guess it's the 50 50, pardon me. It's the 50 50 with a heading. Okay. Actually, it looks like that heading standalone just because of the padding on top. So I'll just put it in separately. That's okay. As I said, we'll see when we get further into it if we actually do need to combine all these things. 50-50, uh, there we go. Uh, button image and button in each of those columns. Okay, so we'll do the usual. Just put this block with the button. Okay, I can delete this one and duplicate that one. Now we don't need to mess around doing the same thing twice. Okay, finally, okay, a sideshow. So this is, we've put in a sideshow for the Harry's product page, but this one will be a little bit uh, different styled element. It'll have four across and it kind of rotates through like that. Okay, so we're just gonna have an image in a block, a heading, and then the four photo slideshow, okay. So for that, we, go. we need our heading. Oh, we needed my mistake. We needed the image in the block first. So we'll put in our block. Image. Then the heading. It's got to be right underneath the block. And then it's another slideshow element. So let's have a look. So we're going to be using this one here. So in the Harry's product page, we used just the single slider. We're going to have to display several images at one time. So we can go ahead and throw that in underneath the header. And that should work out nicely. Okay. When we do need, of course, four of them to show. So the first thing we'll do is just number of slides to show. Just click up the up button and that's that. That's it. Okay. The last section, it's just a paragraph and a button on the bottom. These little bean stalks or sprouts or whatever you want to call them, they're actually individual images. It's not just a background image, which is unfortunate. We would need to do some custom coding to get those in there. So we're going to leave those out when we finish it, but I'll probably do this section just off camera just to show you the final result, okay? So I'll end this video for now. The next video, we'll th start throwing in our content and aligning all of, uh, uh, fixing the layout so it looks as close as possible to the original page, okay? Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.